Hi, this is Don Campbell with expand to web here with the tour of the Small Biz Facebook app that allows you to manage your Facebook page content right from within WordPress. Now, I'm assuming that you already have a Facebook page created, and if you don't, you can just go to facebook.com slash pages slash create.php, and from here, create a page for your business. Now, once you've created a page, here's some examples of Facebook pages that are managed with the Small Biz Facebook app and the Small Biz WordPress theme. Here's one that has not been converted over to the new timeline yet, but you can see that it works. It has a full set of pages that are managed right from within WordPress that appear within Facebook with a menu and everything. Here's another site that has been converted over to the new timeline. You can see that I've added a cover photo and a new profile picture and special app tabs where I've customized the images. And if I go in there, You'll see all my content, which includes videos and opt-in forms and things like that, that include um, that are managed for, from within WordPress. So now I can go ahead and, and make these changes uh, right from within WordPress, and they show up on my Facebook page. So let's go ahead and create a Facebook page uh, using the Small Biz. So now I've got this website. It's a it's a Facebook page for Central Auto Repair, and you can see that I've got a cover photo and a profile picture. And I've got some content on here that has been posted and some milestones and things like that. But now we want to add a special app where we can manage our own content. So this will be a special um, special app with content that we're going to manage from within WordPress. All right. So to do that, we need to create our content within WordPress. So I'm going to go into, here's the actual website, the um, Central Auto Repair website. And what we're going to do is take some of this content and decide, all right, I want to show certain things within my Facebook page. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to create new pages. So I'm going to look at pages and you'll see that I've created a couple pages already. I've created a Facebook reveal page, which I'll view. This page is the one I want to show to people before they have liked the page and it kind of encourages them to click the like us button. Um, and then once they've liked the page, we're going to show them this regular Facebook page here. And this is the page that we want to show them once they've liked everything. Okay. And what's interesting is these pages, when I go in here, all I've done is created a regular WordPress page, but I've selected a, a very specific page template. For the reveal page, I'm going to select Facebook reveal page. And for the page that I want to show up after they've liked us, I'll say Facebook page with no menu. These are page templates that are added to WordPress by the Small Biz WordPress theme. They'll show up for you, and you want to make sure that any content you create that you want to show on your Facebook page is using these page templates because it controls the width uh, so that it fits properly on your Facebook page. All right, so with that content created, let's go ahead and install the Small Biz Facebook app on our page. So we'll install it here on the Central Auto Repair page so that we'll get a new tab here. All right, so when I go into WordPress and go to Appearance, Small Biz Options, I'm going to scroll down to the Facebook page setup section. And you'll see here we outlined three steps. The first step is to create your actual Facebook page, which we talked about. The second step is to create your pages within WordPress that you want to show up in Facebook, which we just did. And the third step is to actually install the app. So I'm going to click here to launch the Small Biz Facebook app. I'm going to walk through a real short install process where it asks for my permission so that I can so that the app can add the new the new custom app tab to your page. And then it's going to ask you which page do you want to install it on. In this case, we're going to choose Central Auto Repair and say Add Small Biz. Now, what you're going to see is actually a new tab here. I'm going to click in, and the first thing it's going to ask me is say, okay, well, what page, which URL do you want to show for people who have not liked the page yet? And then which one do you want to show for people who have liked the page? Now, to get those URLs, we're going to go back to our WordPress site. Okay, and we're going to, go, going to go to Pages. And first, I'm going to view the Facebook reveal page. Okay, and I'm going to grab that URL from the top and copy it to my clipboard. Then I'm going to go back to my Facebook page and say, this is the page I want to show for non-fans. All right. Then I'm going to go back to my site again, and I'm going to view the regular Facebook page and grab that URL. Great. Now I'm going to set that up and say save content. 
and now it's all set up and ready to go. Now, I've already liked this page. I'm gonna, I should have unliked it here. I'm gonna go ahead and unlike the page. So you'll see that I get the special image. I'm gonna go back to Central Auto Repair and say, okay, it's telling me that I haven't liked it yet, but I'm gonna go here and click join us, right? And it's going to give me the page that says, hey, this person hasn't liked it yet, so show, show them this one. And once I click like, it's gonna refresh and show me the new content. So that's all there is to it. It's really straightforward setting this stuff up. Now, the other thing you, you may have noticed on this page is the app tab image. So this image was already set. Normally, that's not gonna be the case. What you wanna do is click this little arrow and then edit. And from here, you can say edit settings and you can upload your own custom tab image here. Now this image needs to be 111 pixels wide and 74 pixels high. And you just click on this change link and then what you can do is just upload this image from your computer and save it. And that's how you can change that. And it's really important that you change that. You can also change the description. So right now, you can see it says welcome. I'm gonna change that to say join us and click save. And it's important because you really want a call to action in this image here, something that encourages people to click on it and go see your content. Great. So. Now you're set up. Now, if you wanted to add menus as well, then what you can do is go back to your Facebook, I mean, I'm sorry, go back to your WordPress site. And if you go into menus under appearance, you'll see that we've got menus set up for the main menu already. We're just using the WordPress menu builder here. But Small Biz adds this special section with the where you can choose which menus show up for which. So what I wanna do is create a new menu just for Facebook. We'll call this the Facebook menu and I'll say create and I'm going to go down and choose some specific pages so I want the Facebook page and then I have a new one called um, sign up that I created and I want to add those to the menu you want to make sure that you only add pages that use the Facebook page templates here because your widths the width on your pages for your other ones are going to be too wide so I can reorder these menus and save it and then what I need to do once that menu is saved is assign it over here and say, hey, this is for the Facebook menu, all right? I want to use this menu for Facebook. And I save it. Great, so now what I want, now that I've created the menu, I want to make sure, I'm going to go back to my pages, right? And I want to make sure that my Facebook page is using the Facebook page with menu template. I'm going to update that, all right? This allows the menu to show up on the Facebook page. Now I had one other page I created here in advance. It's a sign up page. And I wanna make sure that is also using the Facebook page with menu. This has an opt-in form and a video on it. So I wanna make sure that that shows up. Now when I go back here and refresh, you're going to see the menu is now going to show up on these pages. So now I've got a regular Facebook page and I've got the sign up page and I can start building my menus out here you see I've got one with an opt-in form from a Weber, and I've got a little video here that I can play. So I've got the whole thing set up. I can do anything I want on these pages now for central auto repair. Great, so that's really all there is to it. You go in, create your Facebook page, create your content in your menus, and you're good to go. And now when I have content, for example, if I go into here and I want to change something on one of these pages, if I wanted to bold something, for example, I can just go right into WordPress and I'll go to my regular Facebook page and let's say that we wanted to bold this ASE certification and the Bosch certification, right? We wanted to change that content. I'm just doing a minor change here. I'm going to bold those two things and update them. Now when I refresh this page, you'll see that that content in Facebook has been updated and I'm managing that all within WordPress. Great. So that's the tour. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and um, good luck.